Lord Jesus, we honor you. It belongs all to you. We thank you, O Lord, for your faithfulness, which has kept us for the year that just passed. We thank you, O Lord, for what you are set to do. Even now, you have told us this will be our year of dominion. That we will reign, we will rule over all that you have ordained us to rule over. Speak your word to us at this communion service and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me appreciate God for bringing you here for this communion, the first one for this year. And uh, I know there will be many more. And uh, God will do much more for you today than in the days of the past in Jesus' name. Um, we still want to dedicate this communion to the Nina. Amen. Amen. And you better get used to it because we are going to hear the word again and again and again and again and again and again. Hallelujah. God said, This is your year of dominion. And if there is dominion, you dominate. Um, the word dominion is a, is a, is a language of force. God said to man, he said, look, I will give him dominion over all the fowls of the air, the fishes of the sea, the beasts of the field. And um, later he also explained what it means to be in dominion for us. I said, for thou art my battle axe. You are my weapon of war. He said, with thee. Everybody say, with me. See, God can do without you. Amen. But I pray that he will not do without you. Let me say it again. God can do without you. Or without any man. God wants to do his work with you. There's a songwriter that says that, Lord, whatever it is we are doing this season, don't do it without me. Amen. He said, for thou art my battle axe. What are, what, what are they saying in here? Have, have you, how many of us have seen some of these uh, some of these movies? Um, how many of you have seen Thor? You have seen um, which other one? Um, hmm? Hercules. You seen Hercules? Hmm? Have you seen the kind of weapons they use? Have you seen the battle axe? This 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 ancient uh, medieval films. God said, look, I am the soldier. You are the weapon. You are the one that will swing. Amen. For my battle as I say, you are my weapon. Say, with you. Everybody say, with me. God say, with you, I'm going to do major damage to the kingdom of Hallelujah. And there are two ways of looking at this. You can say with me, who am I? And despise yourself. Um, and you can say with me and get puffed up. And then, before you know it, um, you become uh, something else. God will use you this year more than any other year you have ever seen in the name of 
Jesus. So we began to speak about them, you know. Uh, let me just recap a little for those of us who are not aware. Um, the Bible told us, for instance, the main reason, I mean, the main purpose of the existence is to be in dominion. That's why, for instance, if you look at the man in the garden, amen, uh, it was not, it was not built to labor. It was not designed you know, for stress. It was created on the sixth day. It was the last of God's creation. Everything he will need has been prepared for him. Amen. And God said, have we? He says, subdue. <laughs> That's the word I was going to. You know, sometimes there are things you have to subdue. There are elements you have to to subdue means to conquer. You don't conquer if you do not fight. No weak man dominates. And let me also tell you why God said about strength. As created with the regard to this house. He said the weakest of us in this house we have the strength of David. I thought somebody would say amen. And he said the strongest of us will be as God. He said, the weakest of you will have the strength of David. Have you ever checked what the strength of David was like? A teenager who killed a lion? A teenager who killed a bear? A teenager who killed a giant? Do you do not know? You do not know? If, have you seen... Uh, um, Seen, you do not. When you see your NBA stars, you think they are giants. Sadly. That's what comes in. Those are not the kind of people I'm talking about. Giants, they have six fingers, six, uh, six, uh, six toes. When they walk like this, dust. When they speak, there will be tremors. In fact, you know what they do? Eh? They first harass you with their voice. There used to be a guy that, that was singing with Final Fantasy IV in those days. After they had done everything, Banan would tell them, hey, come and say hello to the people. And he would take off my clothes and say, how do you do? In fact, the way we say it, there's a way the whole place will vibrate. How do you do? There are people like that. They want to, they want to fight to. They first kill you with their, with their voice, with their words. All that Goliath did was to speak, and they say, ah, "We are not able." This year, the grace of God will remove everything that is called inability from your life. You will be able. In the name of Jesus. So we said dominion. When God said it, He said that in some way we have dominion over all the spheres. We have dominion over over the sea. Over the fish that are in the sea. We have dominion over the things that fly. It's not only over over the re You know the Do you know what they call the re? If you know the role, let me see your hand up. These Lagos people, they don't know the role. If you know the role, let me see your hand. You know the role? What's the role? It's a bird. Those two small, small, it's not over fish, you know. Eh? You know there are, <laughs> there are, there are birds and there are, there are people. Amen. Praise God. So you are, We are in dominion. Nobody should be able to intimidate you. Amen. Let me share the secret of the problem. Sometimes ago, I was, I 
was watching this, I wouldn't know which of the channels, but I think it was this animal planet or whatever. It was a very long time. And they were comparing between the big cats. You know, the big cat, the lion, the cheetah, the... And they were talking about their lifestyle. I can't even remember which channel I watched it. They said one only attacks when it's hungry. Okay. They said the lion only attacks when it's hungry. I beg God, long will be there. Don't go and say, okay, my pastor said the lion attacks when it, it won't tell you when it's hungry. Okay. And they said the the other one, the, the leopard, just attacks and kills. Is it the leopard that says the strongest or the fastest? The cheetah. The cheetah. The cheetah. They said the cheetah attack anything that threatens. And they were now showing the lion wanted to attack the head of uh, I think it was it was a buffalo and there. And, uh, and the first thing we do is to make a noise. First they will be running in circle and those ones will also be running together. That's why we talk about fellowship. This year I pray you will not break fellowship. Pastors, I pray, please, trust God to help you to inspire the people. The people are also said to you, in case the pastors, including myself, we are not inspiring you enough. We are not God. We are human beings. We have our frailties. We have our strong moments. We have our weak moments. Amen. The only person who cannot disappoint you is who? Is God. A man that has breath in his nostril is capable of disappointing anybody. So do not break fellowship because there is death. Do not break ranks. Do not break fellowship. Amen. Amen. So what will this lion do? He will run in circles and these animals will be and suddenly we we'll make a noise, we we'll roar. Wow. And in a split second, they show the eye. Beep, 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 split. It will look at the animal that strayed the most from the herd. And will make a pounce. And usually, I'm sure you've seen it. That one will be running faster than, will be running this way, and every other person will run this way. Now, first and foremost, the Bible says to be sober and to be vigilant. It said, for your adversary, the devil is like who? The Bible did not say it's like a lion. There are, there, there are lions at rest. There are lions who are not hungry. There are old and toothless lions who cannot do much. Okay? Your adversary. Adversary. If it is the devil at work, this is out for you to know, he must first roar. And the reason for roaring is to create fear. Let me tell you, you have lost 80% of the battle if there is fear in your life. Amen. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect love cast it out there for fear has torment. There is Fear itself is tormenting. It is a torment. He says, if I do it, I will fail. My dear, you have failed already. Uh, 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 Pastor, I'm even afraid. I'm, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, somebody came and said, oh, that miscarriage is about Christ. So, Pastor, in fact, this woman, I am praying. I say, I rebuke you. I rebuke that your mouth. He came to me to pray for him, for her. And I was rebuking her. I said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And that demon that is speaking to you. And he said, Pastor, no demon. I said, there is no bigger demon than the demon of fear. Amen. Fear will say, God will say, you can't. Fear will say, no, I can't. Ah, you know, let me tell you what fear will also do. I'm coming back to where we left off. You know, fear will rob you of where God wants to take you. Let me tell you, child of God, this year God is taking you very far. Very, very 
ask you how far it's going, going to take you. Very far. Elijah had just killed 85 dangerously ordained and anointed demon possessed prophets of Baal. He killed them single handedly. He said, Bring, he, he was, <laughs> you know, have you pictured that? They killed to be slaughtered. In the name of Jesus, all your enemies this year, they will queue up before you to be slaughtered. He said, bring them, and they will bring you away. How can you go and Pia! Next! Pia! Next! Everywhere was blood. And then, a woman came and said, I will make your life difficult. And the guy took off. How to stop him? Did Elijah ever think in his mind that he killed those 85 people by his own power? Number two, if you kill 1,000 disciples and you left the man, you know what is going on in Zaria now? Akaduma? Eh? Do you see? How many of you are, are familiar with, with uh, uh, the, the Shaif movement around that area? Eh? You know them, they were a lot to themselves. I've encountered them before when I was at Kaduna. They were a lot. So, you know what they will come? They will come to you. They say, look, this house, eh? where you have been living for you, they say, Bakete, you want to use it. Oh, Tobe, Kuma Bakete. Suddenly now, they are, they've never been on the defensive all their life. They have been on the defensive. And they met, they met, they met a soldier, a real soldier. Aroguyo. <laughs> they met a soldier, not a, not a political soldier. Have you seen a general drink press up with troops in the field before? They met a soldier. Oh, like Obudi. On that day, they were quite alone. And uh, whichever way we read it, let me tell you whether they were wrong, whether they were not wrong. I, I mean, we can almost decide where they are going to go. Look at them. They are the rascals. And I know what, how many of you have lived in Kaduna before? You know, you are familiar with, you know, those people could create hell for anybody. But you know what it is? It says they are leader. For as much as their leader is in detention, eh? they, won't, they won't create any. The man will come, he will say only one thing. Go and kill. They will kill everything they see. So if Elijah, you kill 1,000 disciples of and you did not kill Jezebel, you have not done anything. Else. What will she do? She will recruit others now. Human life does not cost anything. So they did that. And this woman said, you know, I thought she would say, look, today, the line has been drawn. God will show himself on whose side he is. You know what the man did? He took off and ran. <laughs> Can you imagine? Some of Ikriban Sari we know. Can you imagine Agalaga? Who was? Ikriba, Ikriba, Ikriba. They say, Prophet, we say, no, 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 no. And ran, ran, left the city, ran into the bush, and got to close. And God said, Oh boy, what are you doing here? Even you. And he started talking and talking and talking and talking. And I said, my friend, chop and go. No. The guy chop and say, you know, they come out. Hey, man. He said, you know, belly food? Chop again. I said, yes, sir. He ate. I said, I'm move. And God did what he will do. Now, this is dominion. This is dominion. Dominion for you will not be the way Elijah exercised. Dominion will be if they come a thousand times, you will be on top a thousand times. Amen? You will be a top a thousand times. 
So God said, the charge of your life is to dominate. And let me tell you, if you have never been in charge before, you will not know. One of our friends who used to be a deputy governor, in the first, I won't mention his name, but I'll just describe him later. In the first life of uh, Fayoshi in Ekiti, he was brought from the Kotokoiko and he was there for a couple of months before they pulled him back to come into the. I'm sure some of you know who I'm talking about. He was telling us, he said, Look, he married, you know, a princess from one of the big kingdoms in. Uh, and being an in law to the king, you visit the palace. Often, is that also? Talk to me now, Abby. And of course, if you come to the palace of the king of Nigeria Rivala and it doesn't matter what you do, how do you greet the king? You prostrate. Especially if the king was your father in law. Amen. So here he was. He was a director in one of the banks. And uh, they brought him and said, Come and be the deputy governor. And he came. And at the first time meeting he would have was with the council of uh, others in his state. Eh? His mindset, he said his mindset was used to prostrating for kings. So he didn't know what to handle it. They were all seated in the chambers by the time we go. He said he knew he was in dominion when he entered. He said as soon as he got in, all the kings, they got up. So he just said, really, something has changed here. So he went around and said, how do you do, sir? I mean, you won't see a, a governor prostrating now. Abby, how do you do? How do you do? When you are in dominion, your status will change automatically. Before you used to, you used to, they used to charge you with, you will be the one who will be dispensing authority. Amen. He said, he said, he did not know what it means to be in. Said as soon as he got the way, they all said, they said, oh, the council of, of, of kings and others, you know, we're going to, Tell me so. He said, "Okay, I'm used to the palace. I guess he was preparing himself to to prostrate as a card yes, you. But as soon as he got there, all of them stood up. And if you know Yoruba Obas, they don't stand up to greet nobody. Amen. They stood up. Said, oh, so he said to himself, something has changed here. If they stood up, I should not be prostrating. Amen. We are in dominion now." This year, authorities will stand to salute you. You don't understand. Eh? Do you know a man that is called uh, this Bushel? Or Mephi Bushel? Mephi Bushel. He was in dominion, he lost it, and he was restored back to him. That day, that the chariot of the king went to Lodeva. When I teach on this subject, I ask people how many of you have been to a place called, called um, um, Kano Street in Ebutemeka, in uh, Oyibo. Is it Kano Street? Oh, but, eh? Kano Street. That old street from the beginning to the end. What will you see there? Eh? Beggars. I've never seen a place like that before. From the beginning to the end, left and right, it's like they, they imported them every every left, right, and side. That was where a prince went to be living. No deba. It was it was it was a place for destitutes. I can imagine. You can imagine. They say the Waris uh, Amoka. I mean, uh, presidential. Car went to pick one of them there. First, the riders and everybody. What do you think will happen to the rest? They will take off now because they've never seen something like that before. And then an oddly will come and say, Which one of you is called Murphy Bushel? He said, Man, I will walk and say, Pam, 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 pam. I'm sure everybody will begin to respect. I said, 
Ubi. That was what happened. See, when you are in dominion, people you look up to will begin to look up to you. To look up to. So I said, okay, how do I know that I'm in dominion? Quickly. Three points. Quickly. Psalms 114. Verse 1. So when Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of a strange language. Verse 2 says, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel entered into dominion. He said, the sea saw it, and the sea fled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Answer me. Come on. One of the things you see when you are in dominion is that sea will flee before you and Jordan will give way. And I like to explain sea. Um, two, three weeks ago we were at the shore of the sea. What you see about the sea is that you will see the waves, you will see the billows, you will see the things that terrify. I was getting to a point, I was enjoying myself, I was getting aggressive. I know the water not will carry me away because uh, I'll be papi water. <laughs> like I said. So, the papi water is the matter of our mommy water. So, so as I was walking towards the thing, my wife screamed and said, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She was scared. So I went and I left. I'm threatening her. I said, if you do anyhow here, we just jump in carrying this water. I said, I said, I said, there was a boy that was doing some, some stunts. I said, I'm so inspired. Let me remove my shirt and jump. He said, not be me and you. <laughs> he said, I brought you here. I will carry you back home. Nothing missing, nothing broken. The waves, the billows, the roaring is the same thing. When you are in dominion, they give way. Say the sea saw them and the sea. The other thing about the sea is that the sea is like a problem that you know the beginning and you do not know how you are going to end it. Have you found yourself in such a situation? I said, you know what? I'm in problem and it's a big one. I know how to get into the end and I do not know how to end. Have you been in a medical situation where the doctor told you that, sorry, there is no... Recently, you know, somebody got a very bad news. And they said there is no hope. And that's the way they just said, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. what we need to work on in your body is 87% gone. There is no hope. And uh, so I asked myself, I said, this person that they told, and I'm arm robber on death row, they are not different. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, he wants to sleep, he's scared. Will I wake up? And they say, and the person uh, say, uh, you both uh, said you must you must disclose. I say sometimes maybe it's not good to disclose. Do you understand what I'm saying? That the person has a right to know. Okay. Maybe sometimes we should be like African, who will keep it and hide it. You got a report and they say, Oh dear, sorry. No hope. You got a report and say, sorry, no human being can help you. You got a report and they say, mm. go back home. And they say, go back home and eat and enjoy yourself. How do you eat and enjoy yourself in that situation? Amen. That is what the sea is like. Have you found yourself found yourself in a mess in the hospital, uh, in the, at, at work, and you ask yourself, "How did I get to this point?" It's a web 
you just saw the beginning of it. Uh, you cannot just guess how you are going to come out of it. That is the problem that the sea represents. I do not know whether there is anyone who has been swimming has crossed at least one sea. I don't know. All by himself. Amen. But the Bible says when you are in dominion, you don't even have to swim. As you are walking, what happened to the sea? It begins to give way. I pray for you. That problem that you are in, you do not know how you are going to get out. You are not the one who will get out. The thing will throw you out. The thing will, 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 will say, no, no. This one is a failure. It, it, it does happen, no. Eh? Ah, it does happen. Daniel, they threw him into the lion den. And then he said, he, he, the lion said, we know they chop this guy meat now. He said, you know, no, say this one. I said, carry this one, come on, give, give me bring better meat. Amen. They threw three evil boys into the fiery furnace. And fire said, we know they burn this kind of person. Bring better people. Amen. So it's possible for your problem to reject you. It's possible for your situation to give way for you. Come on. When the anointing for dominion comes upon you, eh, the thing that you were running away from will begin to run away from you. Amen. You know, I've given this example here before. In my days in the university, there was only one incident of cultist, uh, whatever it was, in, you know. And this morning, some Muslim guys wanted to go to the mosque to and then this cultist met them. They said they were doing stuff. And they attacked. And the people said, we know them. We will get our own pound of flesh back. And they started looking for them all over the place. And so the school was so tense. And other people said, no, no, we are not going to be embarrassed. We are going to strike. And it was a mess. And I was a Christian on campus. And we are doing a whole lot of things. And this night, we had a meeting. We had an ESCO meeting late into the night. Late into the night, I think. It should be around almost 3 a.m. I was coming back to my hall. Now, we were coming as a group. Every other person has entered into the hall. I needed to pass through a bush path to get into. And suddenly, I heard this voice doing whatever it is on that same footpath. I had two options. Either to continue my or enter into the bush or hide or run back to where I was going. But if I run, chances are that they will chase and they will kill. And I had my tambourine with me. I also carried tambourine branches. It was a bush path, no light, no nothing. As they were coming and they were coming. Ha! In the bushes. They were coming, I was coming, they were coming. Suddenly they just turned and ran. And in fear, I started to run again. We're running to the same direction. So it just dawned on me. Wait a minute. What if they turn and face me back? <laughs> Don't ask me what I did. In that instance, I did what you would have done. What I'm saying is that your fear can also be our friend. Amen. The things that are intimidating you could also be intimidated. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this year, because we are in dominion, you shall not be afraid of what they are afraid of. He said, say ye not a confederacy to what this people shall say a confederacy. He said, for thou shalt not fear what they fear. It is an evil confederacy. Uh, they say, ah, there's going to be famine. In the Wait, how is they concerned? I was talking to somebody. He said, said now, wow. He said, this country is bad. Though. He said, dollar is about three, two, three, how many? Is it 300 or 3,000? 300. I said, okay. He said, the economy is bad. I said, okay. I said, is it okay, okay, you are saying? I said, what else will I say? When dollar was two to one, how many of, how much of it do I have? Eh? Did God feed me or not? Uh, let me go and become 1,000 naira. Some of us, our time are you, are you? 
Amen. See, people just die. You know, when Buari first came, I read his biography the first time. I read, uh, the, I, I still have the book in my, I think it's here. You know, that someone wrote. And he was talking about his experience during the Civil War. And he said that, look, some of the soldiers that fought on both sides, okay, either on the Nigerian side or on the Biafra side, he said, you will get there and you will see some of them dead bodies and you will turn them like this, turn them like this, you will not see any bullet wound. You as they walk through them. They died before before bullets came. He said, he said on both sides, on both sides, on both sides, that both on the other side, you will see dead bodies and you will turn and say, wait until this one. You will not see a single bullet wound. Don't die before your death. And let me tell you, people near a palodi, people near a palodi, walk on on walk, you think they don't know who they are looking for? They know who they are looking for, Jeff. They tell you. Praise God. So, he said, the sea saw them and the sea fled. And he said, Jordan was driven back. Jordan is a water body, but it's smaller compared to the sea. Now, he said, mountains, look at me this year. This is how you know you are a man of dominion. What is hindrance? You have hit your head against the wall several times. You know what? You were almost going to form a permanent opinion that you, you know they work. He said, This time, because you are operating in the dominion, he said, The mountain will speak. Okay, my sheep be full. See, the Yoruba man just missed that. Okay, I'm okay. Oh, my sheep. They, they will be. This is a mountain. Amen. Mountain with skid. Have you done you speak a real presently? Eh? Mountain with skid. And he said, little hills. So I was doing a comparative analysis between the sea and the river and the mountain and the hills. And I came to this conclusion. Look at me, child of God. The bigger your problem, the bigger the way forward. If they come big, they will fall big. If they come small, they will go in a small way. In the name of Jesus. What we are saying is that for a man who is a bearer of the dominion mandate, nothing, big problem, small problem, they do not have, if it's a problem, they must go. See, the God who can heal headache is the same God who can heal cancer. It's not, it doesn't have to improve. Talk to me. God does not have to go for a retreat to get power. So, if he can heal a day, he can heal cancer. He can. And he will. Hallelujah. See, so, the challenge is not from God. It's you. That's one of the things God told me, you know. He said, look. I am just, he said, look at it. As a roundup. He said, for the eye of the Lord runneth to and fro the earth. What was the eye of the Lord looking for? Seeking for a man. Eh? On whose behalf God will show himself what? Strong and mighty. It's like, and I'm looking for somebody I want to, to demonstrate it. He said, my, I'm searching. I'm searching. Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? He said, the eye of the law is searching through and fro the earth looking for a man on whose behalf God will show him. You know, when I read there, I said, Lord, I sorry, I, 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 I volunteer. I am that man you are looking for. Don't look for any other. Don't look any further. I am that man. And in the year 2016, may you be that man. On whose behalf, God will show himself strong. God will say, I'm looking for that man. I want to, through whom I will demonstrate to, 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 to powers that I am strong. 
He said, look at Pharaoh. For this reason I have raised him to do what? So that I might destroy him. So he said, look at you. For this reason have I raised you this year. To demonstrate what dominion means. I said to people, I said, look, do you know why God allowed, allowed Daniel to go into the lion's den? God could have prevented it from happening. Do you know why Shadrach, Meshach, and uh, what's his name again? I, I beg Nigo were allowed to enter into fire. God wanted to prove a point that it's not everyone. The lion can destroy. And it's not everyone who gets into fire and they get burnt. There are some people that affliction can respect. I think you belong to our club. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Say, I belong to Dominion. Say, this year I will manifest the Dominion mandate. Of God. Say this year, because I am the stock of Israel, everywhere I go, the sea will see me, and the sea will part way, and Jordan will be driven back. Say this year, come on, because I am the stock of Israel, and I carry dominion mandate, every direction I face, Mountains will see me of their own accord. Speak louder, speak louder. Say, mountains will see me of their own accord. They will be lifted. Little east will see me of their own accord. They will shift for me. If you believe that, say, Amen. amen. Just go ahead and bless the name of Jesus. Worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Worship him.